Welcome back to Siberia! Check out this sick sepia filter I found. It's kind of strange. If you press spacebar, I realized, you pause the game. Why would you need to pause the game? I don't know. I have no idea. As far as I can remember, there's never any puzzles or obstacles where you need to, like, be quick. There's never a time limit on anything, as far as I remember anyway, but I guess it's pretty good. Yeah, actually, no, it does make sense. I just realized you can, like, say, be talking to someone, Everything and then your okay, fucking mom calls, and you're like, fucking god, mom, what is it? And then you can just hit space and pause the game. That is actually very convenient. Kate Good. Walker, now I'm, I'm equipped if my mom comes screaming. Very, very convenient stuff. So, uh, I've been busy, but I haven't been busy enough. I haven't been busy early enough. It's, I've let it get really, really late okay. right walk. now for no fucking reason. And I realized right before I started recording now that shit. I had, like, things I wanted to test out, science to be done, so I tried getting that in, but I couldn't quite do everything I wanted, so first thing I wanted to try was when can you get the mammoth doll? When can you actually pick that up in the train here? And I loaded the save, like, when we pretty much just came to Barokstadt. We had talked to, like, the station master and something like that, like that ending of that episode and couldn't pick it up. Then I loaded the episode, or uh, the save, where I was inside the university, but I hadn't yet talked to anyone. Still couldn't pick it up. Then I loaded that, talked to the professor, talked about Hans, because that's the one that, like, changed all of his dialogue lines, and I think he mentioned the mammoth, maybe, the doll, in that, possibly. And then I went back, and you could pick it up. So that's pretty much guaranteed the, the trigger for uh, being able to pick that up. So that makes sense. Cool to know. So now we can go back and like give that to him and check that out. And let me just think. Yeah, there was another thing. We we did find out that the station master uh, probably knows about Sauvignon plants. So we're gonna check in with that. Probably before I do the mammoth doll thing, maybe? Do you have to do the mammoth doll? Probably. But I can't remember. Then, I also want to check another thing, and this is the problem, this is where I didn't quite have time to check everything. So I wanted to just find out, for curiosity, completely pointless knowledge, but I love pointless knowledge, that... I want to find out when you can enter the cemetery, and if there are any items in the game that are not mandatory. So... I was thinking the journal, Anna's journal, might be optional, but maybe when you read that, that's when the cemetery opened up and the ceremony was done. However, I loaded a save before we had the journal and checked the cemetery and it was open. So I didn't have time to like check when it opens exactly, but I would imagine it's when you talk to a Mr. Evil dying dude, guy, lawyer, whoever, representative, man. So, I'm gonna check that out, maybe in like two episodes or something, because hopefully if I can, I'll record two right now. But yeah, I'm, I'm just curious about that, and then if you can just... I'm gonna play through the beginning portion of the game again, and just see if you can just leave the journal in, in the little desk thing, because I guess it kind of makes sense that like, these items are all mandatory, but maybe not all of these are completely mandatory. Like, uh... I don't even know what some of these are. Yeah, like, those are mandatory. This one... Oh, that's definitely not mandatory. Okay. So I guess, yeah. I guess some of the documents are not mandatory. They're just optional items that just give you more information about the world. So I would imagine the journal is the same, maybe. Huh, that's quite interesting. Anyway, sorry, that was a very long intro talking about completely pointless stuff that no one should care about, but I do care about. But now, let's go and talk to, well, did I talk about Sauvignon and Everything stuff okay? with yes. Oscar? I think? You don't know where I might find any Amazon forests? No. 
No. Yeah, okay. So, we've done that. Now we can actually get into the game again. Man. You gotta get used to these long, pointless intros where I drone on. That's kind of my thing, I guess. So yeah, let's go and check in with the Station Master. First of all, let's see. He's probably gonna dodge the question, I would imagine, when it comes to Sauvignon. People don't seem to want to talk about it, or inform people about it. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? So, do I have anything else to talk about? Money? I think money is new, but let's have talk about... Uh, yeah, that's so not well new. In, in the, well, you, I, I've just been to see the rectors, uh -huh. and they told me to get the train out of the station as quick as I can. Uh, I thought they'd say that. Rules are rules, and you gotta stick by them. Not a good idea to get into trouble with the university administration. Uh, absolutely. I've got enough worries as it is. What should I do then? Get the train well, away. Uh, I suggest you move your train. Exactly. <laughs> But it's like I say, the springs are unwound. Everyone seems to think it's my fault. The locomotive's engine might not work, and it's true, but maybe there's some other way of moving the train. It's a possibility, I suppose. Uh, what were you thinking of exactly? Uh, nothing. It was just an idea. Anyway, miss, you shouldn't hang around here. So I guess I you're not really to even meant to talk to the boat dudes this early, which is strange. I guess you're meant to, like... Come here, talk to the station master, go back to the train, find out that the rectors want to talk to you, then go directly to the rectors, and then come back here, and then find the two on the boat if they expected you to not explore at all, maybe? Just... Alright, just had to check. Whoops. Nope, I do want to disturb you more. Whoops, didn't mean to click. Oh my god. Holy shit. Stop spazzing out. Yeah, that's not new. It seems that you... Uh, and bird. Birds in it. No ordinary. I can yeah, alright, so let's talk about money. You have a... Oh, Why not? I, uh, I can't call... You... Worse. The sailors on the barge reckon they could help me tow my train out of here. Yeah, here we go. They're asking for money. You couldn't possibly help me out with a few dollars, could you? I would be very grateful. Uh, miss, really, uh, I'm surprised at you. Asking for money from a total stranger and... and... Oh. Right. Sorry, guy. I need cash. I need it to get my train out of your station because my train is getting in your way, disturbing your birds, and upsetting your bosses. Look, lady, I'm only a station master. I got my problems, and you got yours. I mean, technically, it's not my problem, really, because like, I don't have to get the the train out of the station for me. I could just like walk it or something or find a fucking like what are those called those little like wagon things that you like manually pump to run along a railway i don't even remember but there probably aren't any of those around but yeah i mean it is kind of more their problem that the train is here than mine i and it's not even technically my train but i guess they don't care about that all right, let's talk about Sauvignon. Where might I find some forest Sauvignon plants, please? Who told you that? No place around here. Oh uh, yeah, sure. exactly. I don't know what you're talking about. That stuff's from the Amazon. <laughs> you know, for someone who knows nothing about the plant, you seem pretty well informed about which mysterious. He didn't say that he knew nothing about the plant. Oh, um, Amazon, Peru, Papua New Guinea—it's all the same to me. Gotta go. Gotta work. Bye. Wait, don't go. You know what? I don't think he was being totally straight with me. Whatever gave you that idea, Kate? You seem perfectly truthful. All right. So I guess we can try to hunt him down. And if memory serves, I think he's over here. But maybe you can't find him yet. Maybe it's like later on. Yeah, okay. He's not here. 
I thought he would be like here. I can't go there. Yeah. Okay, so he's actually just gone for now. Interesting. I don't really remember this part. Like, there are things we could be doing in the university with a mammoth doll and stuff, but I don't really remember what you actually... when you actually get the Sauvignon plant and stuff. Huh. I am kind of curious. Like, oh, hi! I was gonna say, where could he be? Like... Can you actually find him at this point? I'm gonna save here before we talk again. And he's right here. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see? I am very, very busy. Yeah, standing on a bridge. No. Well, 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 I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. Hey, you wanna talk about money? Sailors are a miss. Right. Yeah, yep. I've just been to... Uh, well, All right. Let's uh, talk about Sovino again. I'm looking for a kind of little juicy berry. You don't know where I could find some? Look, lady, the station doesn't have any Sauvignon berries. Not even four Sauvignon. Funny you should mention it. That's exactly what I was looking for. But you said that! Forest Sauvignon. You said that before! Uh, oh my god. Sauvignon, raspberry, the red currants, they're all the same to me. And we don't grow none of them here. But you see, I have just read a very interesting book, which says that the rare Sauvignon berry is actually cultivated here, in the famous Baruchstadt University Avery itself. Well, if it's in a book, then... Don't believe everything you read, miss. I don't know why, but I don't think you're telling me the truth. What do you mean? I don't know. How should I know where to find your stupid grape? Go How do you, you know it's a grape? What's his name? Pond, the paleontologist. But you're the master of this station, so you should know better than anyone. See, that's a better question. Nobody told me anything. I don't know. Go see the old guy with the fossil. And if we just do it again? I'm looking for... Yeah, okay. But I, I mean, but that's weird. She went to him and said, I'm looking for Forest Sauvignon. And he was like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. We don't have any, like, things from the Amazon or... Yeah, whatever. That That's it. Like, oh, how do you know that? Good. Good jumping on that, I suppose. Then he's like, we don't have Sauvignon, not even for Sauvignon. Then she's like, how do you know I need that? That doesn't make any sense, you told him. God. Also, I, I noticed that for some reason, Kate puts a lot of emphasis on pronouncing Barockstadt correctly, but she, like, completely didn't give a shit about Vladlen, which is kind of strange. I don't know why they... Longer, why they didn't, like, bother... Having her learn the correct pronunciation for both? Oh well. Wait, hold on. Let's go and talk to uh, the boating dudes. Just to see if they have anything to talk about or uh, say about Sauvignon. Probably not, but might as well. So yeah, this guy told me to go talk to the guy with the fossils, like the professor. So, I guess I can talk to him about Sauvignon now, maybe. Hey there, on the boat. Gordon! My hot. Have you ever seen Amazon Forest Sauvignon? No! Yet, never go Amazon. Do you know if I can find some here? Yet. You must to Amazon go. Yep, yeah. <laughs> that's very yeah, true. Of course. It's not. Father, father, I lost me. Excuse me. My husband say need money for leave. One hundred. How would you know a fancy lady? Wait, like have we? It's not very polite of you to take it. Yeah, I don't think we've heard this. I'm just gonna let this play out. Favors for each other for free, out of solidarity. Father, father, I lost me. Not full. Money, yeah, wait full. Excuse me? My husband say need money for I think he just said like you have a lot of money or something. Or we need a lot of money or, lot of money or like I don't even know. Really. Alright. 
I hope my train... It's okay. Motorboat is the class. My husband say... Nope, he said, uh, we've got a motorboat I mean, first class. we're not exactly very far from the winding machine, are we? It's dumb, isn't it? All this effort to go a few yards. Put train in barge? Nah, not possible. What? Where'd you get that idea? And yeah, I didn't I play the... the... train isn't too big for your barge. Yeah, just that I mean, line. Put... I didn't realize it was even a new, new Have line. Have down to take a look around the station yet? It's amazing. You know, it's full of exotic birds. Me to my gear, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but pleasure. We no leave boat. Husband is land sick. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what he's saying. I can't quite make out some some of the words he's using. It's kind of strange. Like pleasure. What is that? I don't know. You must but really I'm pretty sure he doesn't say anything that she's Do you saying. Know New York at all? We no understand. I'm looking for a funny little... Yeah, that's not new. I have a little prop lock, but if the lock... I just met with the university rectors, ah. and they ordered me to remove my train out of their station. I mean, it's a total joke. How do you remove a train that can't move in the first place? You don't have any ideas, So we you? were meant to do this before we, we even found them. Train. You up your own creek. Your generosity warms my heart. My name is Kate. W yep. Oh, All right. We cool. Uh, Great. Well, that was quite a lot of new dialogue options. Completely pointless as always, but still interesting to go through. All right. So now we can go here to like skip a screen and just show up right here. And yeah, you can't go, like, anywhere else here. There are no secret tiny screens. You can't dig in the trash. So again, we need some kind of egg here, which is probably up in the thing, guarded by the, the ladder, guarded by the birds. And the birds wanted Sauvignon grapes, so we need the grapes first. And then we also just separately can give the, uh, the mammoth to the dude. And maybe that's a thing. Like, maybe it's, maybe we talk about Sauvignon and he's like, I don't know. And she says something about, I have the doll. I'll show it to you if you tell me where to find Sauvignon. I honestly can't remember if that's a thing. So let's save here. Do excuse me, Professor. What is it you... Mission. Please do excuse my persistent No, okay. Pity. She didn't what mention anything about the rectors. What would you say about... <laughs> Young lady, you are... And... Uh, Professor. Uh, yeah, that's sorry. not new. No. All right. You wouldn't know where the forest Sauvignon plants are kept in Bauerstadt, would you? Uh, why do you think there are Sauvignon plants I read plants it in a book. Here? I read about it in a book at the library. Uh, try going to see the station master. I did. If such a shrub exists, he will have a better idea than anyone. It's actually he who sent uh -huh. me to you. I thought it a little strange, but oh. he definitely said ask the paleontologist. I have an and idea. You're the only one here, aren't you? Yes, yes indeed. What a strange way to behave. Well, I, um, I think he must have made a mistake, that's all. Nobody tells me anything here. Maybe you should ask the rector. Oh my God! After all, they Please are no. in charge of the university. All right, thanks. I didn't. I already talk about. Oh man. You wouldn't. Uh, I read about it. Uh, try. It's actually he. Yes. All right. Huh. Okay. Uh, well, sorry. I do want to try something. I want to try just saving here. Should I save here or should I make another save? Let's make another save just for now. And then I want to load, uh, which one is it? You can see all the super late times. Which one was it? I want to load before, I guess just this one, just like where we just started today. And then I'm just going to go and talk to the paleontologist about Sauvignon before we talk to the station master about it. Because then she can't say that the station master sent her to him. But I'm pretty sure we already talked about Sauvignon with the professor, so he probably will only say something, like, kind of pointless. But 
Yeah, let's just quickly try that out. Again, I like live for this kind of shit. Just finding out how everything works and how flexible it is and what all the restrictions are and what triggers what and trying to not like miss any lines and exploring everything the game has to offer. Probably gets quite tedious at times. But I like it. Wish you could like speed up the travel in this game though, but oh well, that's not really the kind of game it is. Do ex Professor. What is it? If I were to say... Yeah. Oh, let's see. Sauvignon. We are talking about the same plant, then. Mm, Amazon Sauvignon plants here? No? No, I don't think there are any. Highly implausible. But, uh, you should ask the station... Oh, shit. Master. Now I need to try he another the thing. ...at our university, so he could tell you more than me. No. No, I Thanks don't. Very much. I don't need to try another thing. I was going to say, oh, now I need to load before I talk to this guy about it to talk to the station master about it so that this line plays again. But that line wouldn't play again. It would play the line we just heard earlier where he's like, oh, that was weird. Why did he mention me? So that makes sense. So that doesn't really if I were to with change you. anything. And we did hear this part I'll already. Try. But now I want to load... The previous save before I talk to him about it and just talk to the rectors and I'm pretty sure I did this so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a familiar line as well but let's just make sure Hey guys. A gentleman, forgive me for disturbing you again. A little. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop oh. the world from turning. That's there are trains from leaving stations. That's new. Hold on, oh, let's hear you. that again. Just the uh, the beginning. I keep. I I want to just skip through everything, like when I think it's nothing new, but then it is something new. Forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself. No yeah, there we go. All right. You wouldn't know if there is any forest. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. We heard that. So. Thank you. And that doesn't change anything. And we did that before talking to the paleontologist, and he still said go to the rectors. So you do have to do them in that specific order. It actually doesn't matter. You have to talk to. The station master, then the paleontologist, then the rectors. Okay, well, now we know. And that's that's good to know. And we'll wait with a doll. I'm not gonna give it to him unless I know why I need to get Oh shit. Damn it! Damn! Clicked outside the window. Fuck, I was doing so well. So close. So close to the end. Man, that's like, that should be a betting game or a drinking game every time. No, not a drinking game. You'll fucking kill yourself. But yeah, betting game. Every episode. Place your bets. Will I click outside the screen that episode or not? For disturbing you. A little they are, no. are you sure there are no Amazon yep, Sauvignon here we go. plants in Barockstadt? Barockstadt. I have just interviewed the station master and the paleontologist. And what they said really didn't convince me that there wasn't any here. We are quite definite on this point. There are no Sauvignon plants growing in Barockstadt. You see, miss, the Amazon forest Sauvignon is a rare shrub that requires very special conditions for growth. That's right. Uh, conditions that are very hard to reproduce, believe you me. Difficult, but not impossible. Uh, fortunately. Our garden oh, has proven successful. Your garden? So, 
There is a garden in Barakstadt? Oh, the garden. Well, if there was one, it would be only a little garden hidden behind the station. But our station Okay, now this is just getting ridiculous. He would take very good care of it, too. Everything would grow marvelously if we were able to cultivate it at all, and it would be all down to his gardening prowess. And we would be proud as punch. And we wouldn't forget the role the paleontologist might play in this. What's the paleontologist got to do with it all? Without him and without his laboratory, how would we make the wine, do you think? And it would be good wine indeed, my dear colleagues, would it not? Oh, yes, a delightful balm to soothe away our long hours of toil and our heavy if responsibilities. If we had a garden, that is. We would wait impatiently every year for the arrival of the year's produce. So, Prou if produce? I have understood you correctly, there are indeed Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt. They are cultivated in a garden behind the station, then turned into wine by the paleontologist's loving care. And finally, the pleasure of tasting is yours. If I'm not very much mistaken, gentlemen, you have a minor racket operating here. Miss, you do go jumping to some hasty conclusions. Yeah, whatever gave you that we idea, never Kate? never said that. That's not what we said at all. Uh, we, we, we were talking in the conditional. You know, with ifs and woulds. So, what would happen if I had such a hunch? Hmm, you would have to keep it to yourself, of course. Yes, if, if you would be so kind as to keep it a secret. <laughs> it would only be a small local concern, producing barely a few bottles every year. That's right, nothing so grandiose as a business. Otherwise, we'd be liable to be fined. So, Why are you giving me all this information? You know I'm a fucking lawyer. Don't worry, I have no intention at all of getting messed up in anything. Yep. If I were to if Oh my god. Wait. Wait. That was Wait. Wait. Stop. Stop. Go back. That was like way quicker than before, right? A gentleman. They are no. Let's check again. If I were to need Sauvignon grapes, ah. I could presumably find them in the garden, couldn't I? If Sauvignon were to be found here, it would doubtless be situated in the said location. But the station master would have to let you in. He would be the only one with the key. Yes, if that indeed was the case, that would be the correct procedure. Cool. Here we are. Thanks. Right. Thank and Those guys are so nice. Oh, she she wasn't quite ready for that first step. Just then. And stop. All right, I'm going to leave it here for today in the same spot as, well, that one episode. So next time, before we go talk to uh, the Station Master again, I did want to just go over to the Paleontologist and just check if he says anything new about Sauvignon now. And then we'll talk to the Station Master, probably get a couple berries, then, or uh, it's not berries, grapes. Are grapes berries? I don't even know. And then we'll give those to the birds, climb up in the thing, possibly fix an automaton or get an egg, golden or not, and then try to fix the band thing, and then get a hundred dollars, and then get our train toad, and then fucking worry about the wall. So we'll see how all this plays out. Thank you for watching the episode, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!